Hello baseball fans, King Ikibu coming to you live from the underground bunker deep beneath Tuk Tayak Tuk. Where once again we're going to play the World Series 1984 edition between the St. Louis Cardinals and the California Angels. All the famous people are out today. They forgot about the Dodgers for one day as they came out, made the trip to Anaheim. Dignitaries like former and future California Governor Jerry Brown is here. Future Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger is here. Of course, Gene Autry, the owner, is here in anticipation. Today could be the day, finally, the California Angels are world champions up three games to nothing. And the starting pitchers for today's game. First of all, I want to say today's game is brought to you by our sponsor, King Icky Brew, the real king of beers. And now this Today's pitching matchup is between, for the St. Louis Cardinals, Kurt Kepshire, and for the California Angels, you may have heard of him, you may have heard of his surgery, you may have heard of his long johns, Tommy John. Tommy John has pitched a lot of years in the major leagues. He started with 1963 with the Cleveland Indians, pitched there two years, went to the White Sox, until 1972, went to the Dodgers, pitched three years, and for some reason he did not pitch in 1975. That's because for most pitchers, their career would be over with elbow problems. But Dr. Job said, let's try this Tommy John surgery. We'll name it after you. And he did not pay, play in 1975, and then he came back with the Dodgers with a vengeance and pitched all the way to 1989 at age 46. Here in his last years, he was not very good. 1985, his total was 553 ERA. Here in 1984, it wasn't very good either, and we'll see that. But Tommy John was a unlucky pitcher. He pitched for the Dodgers in the World Series in 1977-78 when they lost to the Yankees. And then he played for the Yankees in 1981 when they lost to the Dodgers. So he's never been a world champion, but it could change today. And he is on the mound. Now we look at his record for 1984. He was 9-10 and 10 with a 5 ERA. Not very good. His ratings are 4Q3, which means he is at a C level. He's at C level until the second inning. That means for every game this season, he's had to pitch innings 2 to 5 by King Ikibu rules. Every starting pitcher must go 5 innings, whether they give up nothing. Well, if they give up nothing, they have to pitch longer. But if they give up one run or a thousand runs, they have to pitch 5 innings. And that's why. Tommy John had a 5 ERA. He was not very good, but he is on the mound today. He played very well against the Blue Jays, shutting them down for his five innings. Only gave up uh, a single run and won the game one to nothing. So the Angel fans are hoping he could do the same, can do the same today. His opposing pitcher, as I said, Kurt Kepshire. 8 and 2, 344 during the regular season in limited play. So let's go to the lineups. You know them well by now if you've been following along, but leading off for the Cardinals. Down three games to nothing. Only once in the major leagues history has a team come back from three down, and that was the 2004 Boston Red Sox. Everybody knows about them. It ended the curse. So here's leading off for the Cardinals. In left field, Lonnie Smith batting second. The center fielder, Willie McGee. Batting third, the third baseman, Terry Pendleton. Batting fourth, the right fielder, Andy Van Slyke. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, George Hendrick. Batting sixth, the first baseman, David Green. Batting seventh, the catcher, Daryl Porter. Batting eighth, the second baseman, Tommy Herr. And batting ninth, the shortstop, the Wizard of Oz, the Hall of Famer, Ozzy Smith. And four, the team up three games to nothing. I still can't believe it. You see, I've been playing 162 games of the Cardinals all year, and they, I don't think they ever lost three games in a row. I don't know, maybe they did, but they certainly didn't get beaten close games as much. But leading off for the California Angels, looking to end the World Series tonight. Center fielder, Gary Pettis. Batting second, the first baseman, Rod Carew. Batting third, the right fielder, Freddie Lynn. Batting fourth. 
the designated hitter, Brian Downing. Change today. Reggie is out of the lineup. He has done nothing offensively. So that today we have Michael Charlie Brown in left field. Batting fifth. Batting sixth. The second baseman, Bobby Gritch, batting seventh. The third baseman, Doug DeSense, batting eighth. The catcher, Bob Boone, batting ninth. The shortstop. Dick Schofield and on the mound today, the legendary Hall of Famer Tommy John. How many games did he win in the major leagues? Was he's not even a Hall of Famer? No, he should be a Hall of Famer. He pitched this long. He has surgery named after him. I guess because he never got 300 wins. He had 288. I guess that's why he hung on so long to try to get to the magical 300, but he never did. His his best season was 1980. With the Yankees when he was 22 and 9. In that stretch, right after he had Tommy John surgery, he was very good for those years with the Dodgers and the Yankees. So I apologize to Tommy. He should be a Hall of Famer, but he's not. Maybe he will add to his resume with a World Series victory today. Let's begin this game. Could be the final game of 1984. We'll see. I'm not betting on it can't see Tommy John pitching as well as he get against the Blue Jays. The only reason why I pitched so well against the Blue Jays was this game hates me. And I was so desperately wanting the Blue Jays to get to the World Series, but Tommy John, that was a symptom of it. A guy this poor pitching this well against that 911 run team was quite astonishing. But let's hope he can do it again against the Cardinals. Lonnie Smith leading off. He's batting 270. With a no homers and three RBIs. And he has six stolen bases with none caught. And he's possible error. He Oh, he reaches on an error. And Reggie's not even in the game. Who committed the error? It was left field Mike Brown. Charlie Brown le- lets, commits the error. And Lonnie Smith is on second base. Tommy John did not need that. He got He had the out. And his fielders let him down. I guess he's rusty. He hasn't been in the game for a long time. Here's Willie McGee with a runner in the f- that all-familiar position of a runner on second base with nobody out. Fast runner, McGee. How many times have they failed in this situation? Well, today's another day for the Cardinals. And he walks. Two men on. Two fast runners on for Terry Pendleton, batting 324. He also has a mountain of stolen bases. He has seven And none caught in the postseason. And he gets a hit. And he scores. So this time they do not screw up. Runner to third. Pendleton's going to try to steal base number eight. He has it. Pendleton with another stolen base. So this time the Cardinals, they don't want to be eliminated. They're up one to nothing. Here's Andy Van Slyke. They just can't get this guy out. He has a 500 on base percentage. And it pops out. And Willie McGee does not risk it. With the great arm of Fred Lynn. So there's one out. Here's Hendrick. He's batting 226 with a homer and four RBIs. And he strikes out. Oh, it'd be sweet to get out of this with only one run. Keeps him in the game. Come on, Tommy. This is your last, probably last, well, it is the last inning out of C. So hopefully you can get out of this. David Green batting 357 with no homers and two RBIs. Double threes. He does not get out of the inning. What damage is it? 41. 41 is a single that should score two runs. It does, and it's three to nothing Cardinals. Daryl Porter. He walks. They just can't get out of this. Walk, another walk. Bases loaded. Ozzy. Finally, they get out of this mess. All nine batters come up to the plate. They leave four men on, or three men on, and they score three runs. So we'll just get the... uh, well, I'm, I hit the wrong button. Hopefully I'm still recording. Yes, I am. This is the one I wanted. To get the screenshot of Kepshire's numbers coming in to the game. Kurt Kepshire. He does not he has not pitched as long as Tommy John. Let's see how long he pitched. Kep Kepshire. I don't think very pitched like three years, looks like. So you have a guy who pitched like how many years? 20 six years or something and a guy who pitched three years only started 46 games and this is by far his best season was in 1984 so enjoy the moment mr kepshire see if he can hold the three run lead here's gary pettis batting 238 and he walks he's gonna try to steal he gets thrown out 
Porter throws him out. He's caught stealing. And there's one away. Here's Rod Carew. Should have been a hit, but Kepshire took it away. For out number two, Freddie Lynn, who was the player of the game in game three. Strikes out. One, two, three. Well, kind of. Went down for the Angels. And now there he is. Tommy John has to pitch four innings at a level D. Good news for John is all those runs in the first inning were unearned because of the error to Charlie Brown there. Here's Lonnie, here's Lonnie Smith again. He just batted. Reached on the error and scored. He grounded out to the pitcher. Willie McGee. He walks. He's going to try to steal. He gets it. I mean, he doesn't have... Oh, he got in the last game or two. Yeah, he had two yesterday. So that's his third in two days. Here's Pendleton. Singled. Stole a base. Scored a run and drove in a run. And he has a high fly out to the second baseman, Gritch. Here is Andy Van Slyke. He was, it was an anomaly. He flew out in the first inning. And he flies out again. So no runs for the Cardinals in the second. Here's Brian Downing. He's done nothing in the world. Doesn't even have a hit yet. We shall see. He is 0 for 11 in the World Series. He has one walk. So way to go. Come on. Get it going, Downing. You're down. Your team needs you. He has a foul ball. At least gets the throw again. And he strikes out. Here's Mike Charlie Brown. He's batting 500 in the postseason. That's why he's in the lineup. He's a good hitter, but he's proving to be a liability in the field. They just can't fill that left field spot. And he grounds out. Bobby Gritch reaches on a walk. He cannot try to steal. He's no good. Here's DeSense. He has a home run. Four RBIs batting 171. He f hits into a fielder's choice. So after two complete... St. Louis, three. California, nothing. George Hendricks struck out first time. Base hit. And is that a... No, it wasn't a nine. Tommy John can't take anything away. Everything that's a hit is going to be a hit now until he gets out of this... Out of uh, past the fifth inning. David Green, strikeout. No chance to steal. He won't even try. Daryl Porter walked. Kept that inning going. It looked like they could get out of the inning with only one... But Daryl Porter walked. He's had a big game so far. He's already thrown up Gary Pettis trying to steal and walked and kept that inning going. Last in the first. Here's Porter. He gets a single. Two men on. Tommy Herr. He walked too. He flies out. And here's Ozzy. He flied out. And he walks. Bases loaded for Lonnie Smith. His third time up and we're only in the third inning. Reached on an error and ground to the pitcher. And he flies out. So, Tommy John dodges a bullet there in the third inning. It's still 3 to nothing. Angels do not have a hit. Kepshire has shut them down. Here's Boone and Schofield coming up. Single for Boone. First hit for the Angels. He cannot try to steal. Here's Schofield. He didn't do anything much in game three, but he was the hero of games one and two. Yeah, he was 0 for 3 yesterday. And unless you get an error, nope, no error, no such luck. He fouls out to the catcher for the second out. No, first out, here's Gary Pettis. Walked and got caught stealing. And Kepshire takes his second hit away. Advances Boone to scoring position for Carew. Carew grounds out. So after three complete, this is game four from Anaheim. And the score is St. Louis three, California nothing. Here's McGee. He has been up twice. He's walked twice. He scored a run and stole a base. And he reached. Uh, he did not reach. He flew out to Pettis. Pendleton singled, drove in a run, scored, stolen base, and grounded or popped out to second base. He grounds out to third this time. Here's Andy Van Slyke. Flied out twice to right. He flied out to left this time. He's trying to change it up. So still three to nothing. Fred Lynn struck out last time. He strikes out again. Brian Downing, double his first hit of the World Series. He's a slow runner though. We're gonna put the brakes on Downing. Here's Mike Brown. You're in the lineup for your bat. Show it. Because he batted in the regular season. Mike Charlie Brown, 343, 429, 582 with eight homers in 134 at bats. So hopefully he can get the Angels to catch up here today. 
And he triples! Mike Charlie Brown triples and the Angels are on the board. It's three to one. Here's Gritch. Hopefully he can get the runner in with one out. He's a slow runner, however. Bobby Gritch walked last time up. And he strikes out. Clutch pitching by Kepshire. And with two outs, let's see if we can get a nice two out base hit here from DeCince, who hit into a fielder's choice first time. And uh, could get an error, but doesn't. So they score one run after four complete. It's now California one and the and the Cardinals three. We'll go to the top of the fifth. Hendrick struck out and singled. He gets double sixes. That's what DeCince wanted. 61, that's a six. That is a double for Hendrick. And we have a runner at second base with nobody out. David Green drove in two runs with a base hit first, first time up and struck out last time. And he hits it to left. Mike Brown makes the play and Hendrick holds it second. Here's Porter, walked and singled. He hits double threes again. That's what he loves to roll. 63, that's going to be the fourth Cardinal run. It's four to one. And the end of the fifth cannot come quick enough for Tommy John. Tommy Herr, flied out. Lozzie Smith, fouled out. That's it for John. He gave up four inning, four runs in five innings. One was earned. He walked five, struck out two. That's it for him. He's coming out of the game, of course. Here's Bob Boone, singled first time up. He strikes out. Schofield. He walks, and he will try to steal. He almost got the jump. Not quite. Pettis walked, caught stealing, ground to third. And another hit taken away by Kepshar. That's the third one of the game. Schofield advances to scoring position for Carew. That's the difference. We get the runner in scoring position with two out. They get it. the runner in scoring position with nobody out. Come on, Carew. You're a base-hitting machine. Let's do it. He does it! Two out hit, gets a run for the Angels. And Kepshire is tired. And he has to stay in, but, you know, unlike John who pitched four innings tired, Kepshire will pitch one third of an inning tired. Freddie Lynn, let's come on, Freddie. Let's get that 66. That would be sweet. I think even 11 with a runner on might be a home run, too. But we should hope we find out. Roll 11, let's see. He gets a walk instead. Downing, you broke the ice. So now you're due for a bunch of hits. One would be here. One here would be really sweet. He's one for two today with a double and a run scored. And he doesn't do it. He flied out to center field to end the inning. So after five complete innings from Anaheim, this is game number four in the score. St. Louis four, California two. And that's it for John. He's coming out. We're going to bring in Kurt Kaufman. We've seen him before. He kind of struggled, I think, in his first outing. If I remember right, yes, he gave up two runs in a two-thirds of an inning. He pitched well against the Blue Jays in that uh, one of the games. I forget which one this is, but he pitched three innings of relief and gave up only two hits and no runs. We want that Kaufman today. Here is, take a screenshot. For the, for the forum. And let's go. Here's Kaufman. He's 0-0 with five innings pitched and a 7.20 ERA. Here's Lonnie Smith. He's been up, this is the fourth time already in sixth inning. That's not good. And he gets double ones. They're getting the rolls today. 16. And because of the M, there's a chance for a home run here. You have to roll 11 to 25. Over 25. Come on. Over 25. Over 25. No home run. But still a double. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Once again. That's the theme of this World Series. And the reason why the Angels are up three games and none is they've dealt with this situation very well. But they've struggled a little bit today. Here is Willie McGee. He is 0 for 1 with two walks. And he... Hits the ball to the other way. No, he pulls the ball. He's a left-handed hitter against uh, right-handed Kaufman. And he pulls the ball, and Lonnie Smith goes to third. Oh, we can't afford any more runs. We're going to bring the infield in. Strikes him out. Huge strikeout for Kaufman. 
but it won't mean anything unless they get the red hot Van Andy Van Slyke out here. He's 0 for 3 today. And he get him out again. He flies out again. So they dodge a bullet. Way to go, Kaufman. Maybe that would be the spark that brings the Angels back. Kepshire is tired. They're going to bring in Mr. Neil Allen. Neil Allen is their middle relief guy, and he is good at his role. He's 1-0 with a no ERA. He's pitched eight innings in the postseason, given up nothing. So it is going to take a huge effort for the Angels to come back against Mr. Neil Allen. Here's Mike Brown. He tripled last time and drove in a run. That's why he's in the lineup. His bat. And he gets a double. Okay, so he's a slow runner. We don't have a plef... A, a lot. We have Beniquez, but we want to save him for a pinch hitter. Scaniers. Daryl Thomas. I mean, it'd be nice to bring in a fast runner. So instead, we're just going to put the brakes on Mike Brown and say, don't take any chances. Brings up Bobby Gritch. Bobby Gritch has walked and struck out today. See if he can go the other way and get Brown to third. And he does. He goes the other way, does his job, gets Brown to third. Right-handed batter hits it to the second baseman, which advances Brown. So now it's up to DeSensei to cash him in. He's 162. He's 0 for 2 today. They're not going to put the infield in. And he strikes out. Huge strikeout for Neil Allen. Come on, Boone. You've come through several times in this World Series. And he flies out. They waste the runner. Okay, here's Coffin going for his second inning. It's after six complete. Still 4-2 to two, St. Louis. And he flies out. David Green. He hopefully will fly out as well. Porter. Porter's had a good day. He's two for two with a walk. And a run driven in. And he grounds out. Still 4-2. to two. Schofield against Neil Allen who pitched out of a mini jam in the sixth inning. He strikes out Schofield. Gary Pettis, double ones. He has a slight chance of a homer. 33, 11, and 66. Come on, 15. That is a triple. So once again, I think it's the third time in this game, the Angels have a runner at third base with less than two out. And they have not been able to cash in. It's up to Rod Carew. He cashed in last time with a two-out single. So let's, hopefully he can do it again. He hits it to the pitcher. The pitcher looks Pettis back and throws out the runner at third. Oh, that was bad. Come on, Freddie Lynn. He is 0 for 2 with a walk. And he flies out. So once again, three times in this game, the Angels do not cash in with a runner at third and less than two out. That will be the epitaph on the game four tombstone if they don't come back here's tommy her coffins pitching for his third inning he's at 8-1 but that m is scary and no error no error no error here's ozzy smith he walks he's gonna try to steal gets caught stealing bob boone throws him out that should be more often bob boone had one of the greatest arms at the t of the time and the Cardinals have just run rough shot over him, but not that time. Here is Lonnie Smith. Lonnie Smith has doubled. He has flied to left. He has grounded to the pitcher and reached on an error. That horrible first inning that was three unearned runs. Otherwise, if it wasn't for that Charlie Brown error, they, it would be only two to one Angels at this point. But here's Smith. And they... He takes his first hit away. Good job, Kaufman. And he's pitched three innings in relief. So that'll probably be it for him, but he did well there. Allen is going for his third inning in relief. He's pitched 10 innings now and given up no runs. Here is Downing. He walks. Put on hold. Okay, so now we are going to bring in somebody. A pinch runner. And we're going to bring in... Who should we bring in? We'll bring in Daryl Thomas. Does he have any stolen base possibility? No. Someone maybe that can steal a base or two. Let's let's see. 
No, that's not the one. I want to go here. Ah. Game's giving me trouble. Game hates me. I don't think Sconiers can steal. No. Jerry Naren. No. Reggie. No. Will Fong. So even the fast runner can't steal. I just don't like that S on there. Oh, if Mike Brown hits another triple, we won't have to worry about it. We'll put the brakes on downing. No chance. We need two runs, not one. Otherwise, I'd bring in a fast runner. Okay, Brown. Brown has doubled, triple. He's going for the cycle. A home run here would be sweet. He gets a single. He's got three quarters of the, the, the cycle. Does, does Mike Charlie Brown, and an error, I guess. That adds to his resume. Two slow runners on now. Nobody out. Put the brakes on these two guys. And it's Bobby Gritch. And then the black hole of Boone and Schofield are looming. Although they have hit well in the series. I know, but they have horrible ratings. Bobby Gritch. He's not going to bunt. Come on. He walked, struck out, and grounded to second base. No double play. A walk would be okay. Hit would be better. A home run would be sweet. Here we go. Here's the pitch from Neil Young. Neil Young. Neil Allen. I've said that several times. Neil Allen to Bobby Gritch. He walks. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Put the brakes on Brown. And it's Doug DeSensei. Now the problem is we've got Boone and Schofield looming. Now do we go with pinch hitters for them and downgrade the defense? We need runs. We need runs. Put Reggie. Reggie could pinch hit. Although Boone and Schofield both have done more in the World Series than Reggie. He has two for four and he had one for two with three walks at one game. But he struggled last game. Came to his normal self, did Bob Boone. But let's see if DeSense can do something here. He's a home run hitter. He had 21, I think, in the world in the regular season. 21, yes, so he's saving it for now. This would be something if he could do it here, although Allen has voodoo. Caught stealing home! Caught stealing home! Are you kidding me? Why did you try to steal home? That would never happen. And there's no... I put... Even if with the brakes on, does it... Is it it's just about advance on a, on a base hit. Oh, base, I guess here. You got to do this. No base stealing. Oh, I guess I should have done that. I'm not used to doing that. Doug DeSensei. Okay, we can still get runs in. Ground out runner holes every time. There's a four times of the runner at third base and less than two out. They hit it to the pitcher. And it's Bob Boone is up. And if we bring in a hitter, they're just going to walk him to get to Schofield. Oh, man. Jerry Naren is a little bit better. Look, he's 242. We're going to bring in Jerry Naren. This is where it'd be nice to, to manage against somebody. Because I'm going to bring in a little bit. He's not a great. He's not Superman, but he's a little bit better. Or would you just... Now, would you just walk him and pitch to Schofield? I think they would, wouldn't they? I think they would. They're going to walk him. And pitch to Schofield. Put the brakes. Now could we take out Schofield? Uh, who would be his replacement? It would be Robbie Wilfong. That's okay. That's what we'll do. We're bringing Rob Wilfong. He's a better hitter. But much weaker fielder. But we don't need fielding now. We need a base hit. Oh, Allen. Allen is tired now. And you know what that means. Dun, da, dun, dun. Bruce Suter, the closer. Uh, managing against myself. So Robbie Wilfong to face Bruce Suter. Bruce Suter is incredible, as you know. If he loses this game, this will be the last game that Suter will ever pitch for the Cardinals. Now, he did pitch in game one. So what this means now, by King Ikibu rules, when the three games in a row in the postseason, Suter will not be eligible for the fifth game. They'll have to do without him. 
I don't know. Should there be exception to that? I think in real life, Suter would pitch three games in a row, but or three days in a row. Oop, hit the wrong thing. I do this a lot. I hit the action PC football instead of the icon, and goodbye, football. It's not a football game. This is baseball. All right. Oops. Getting all flustered here. Outmanaging myself. Here we go. Rob Wilfong, you can do it. Roll a 66 and make Bruce Suter's B... Y and Z just irrelevant. He gets a single. He gets a single against Suter. Will Fong. I don't. I. I don't know if I would have left Schofield. I can't look at his card, but I don't know if this two five would have done it. I don't. Know, maybe it would have, but he does it. Robbie Will Fong ties the game at four. But the problem is now we've downgraded our defense so much that it could bite us in the butt in the ninth inning or beyond. But Suter blows another save in the postseason. We won't put the brakes on there and we're going to say, go ahead, try to try to score on a base hit. That's what we're going to say to him. Gary Pettis is up. We can't take out Naren for a, f a fast runner because he's the only other catcher. So here is... Gary Pettis, how another base hit against Suter would be so sweet. We don't get it. That's asking too much. But Robbie Wilfong, two out, two run, base hit, ties the ball game at four. And through eight innings, game four from Anaheim, St. Louis four, California four. And Kaufman is still going. He's still going strong. He has three innings in relief. He has not given up a run. And he has really done a great job here today. I'm getting nervous though. How many pitchers, how many batters has he faced? He has faced a 10. So this is his last one. He's going to be, he doesn't have the automatic downgrade. He has it after this, he starts, you know, on the clock for being downgraded. All right, ninth inning. Base hit. And now he's gone. He's going to try to steal, gets a stolen base. So once again, runner on second base and nobody out. But we will bring in Mr. Doug Corbett. Doug Corbett has not pitched since game one. So he is fresh like a daisy and is ready to go. But he comes in. With a very tough situation once again with a runner on second and nobody out. You might as well just start the inning this way for the Cardinals. They always have it. They always have it. So you might as well just put them on and save the pitching arm of the reliever or the pitcher because that's what they always get. Pendleton singled, popped out, grounded out, and struck out. He has a stolen base, a run scored, and an RBI. But the great Corbett... Eight innings, no runs allowed. And he has a single and scores. So the Cardinals, after the Angels take the lead or tie the game in the bottom of the eighth, they take the lead in the top of the ninth. And he has a chance to steal. He doesn't get the jump, fortunately. Andy Van Slyke strikes out. George Hendrick singles, runner to third. First and third. One out for David Green. Strikes out. Corbett's down to a C. No chance of a stolen base. Porter strikes out. But the damage is done. Terry Pendleton drives in McGee off Doug Corbett. And the St. Louis Cardinals take the lead 5-4 to four here in game number four. And Suter is on the mound. He will not get the save, but he could get the win. Although we have our best hitters up. Carew, Lynn, Downing, and hopefully Mr. Michael Charlie Brown will be the hero once again. He wants that home run to uh, get the cycle. That's what he's looking for. Hopefully we get there. Here's Carew. He had that key base hit. Otherwise, he's one for four. And he takes away the hit. 4-4 four, four should be a hit, but the greatness of Suter takes away the hit. The Cardinals have taken away at least four hits in this game with their pitching. Here's Fred Lynn. He walked and he's 0 for 3. You got to get to Charlie Brown. Foul ball. Gets another roll. 
Gets a single, doesn't take away that one. So we got our base runner. Runner on for Brian Downing. He has struck out, he has doubled, he has flied out, walked, got caught stealing. He's the one that tried to steal home for some crazy reason. All right, come on down and get on for Charlie Brown. I'm nervous, I don't wanna hit this button. Huh. Excuse me while I compose myself here. Ah, Brian Downing. Home run! Home run, Brian Downing! Walk off, grab, whoa, walk off home run to win the World Series for the California Angels. We have cut him so many times in this World Series, but he will always go in infamy. In California Angels history will be the name of Brian Downing. I should, I don't know, infamy's bad, isn't it? I think infamy's bad. No, it's good in this case. It means he's great. He hits a walk-off home run off Bruce Suter to win the World Series for the Angels by a score of 6-5 to five with a 1-1. One, one. That's the one weakness of Suter. He has no voodoo. He has no ability to bring the ball back into the field of play. And as a result, Downing is the hero. He goes and will be always remembered with... People like Bill Mazeroski and Joe Carter, even though 1993 is in the, in the future, the name of Brian Downing will be alongside of them. The football player, the linebacker, powers it out. Is that his first home run of the postseason? You know, he has two, but they were against the Blue Jays. This is the first one against the Cardinals, and it wins the game off the mighty suitor. That would be bigger than the Sandberg. You have the Sandberg game to get a walk-off home run off Bruce Suter in to win the World Series. They sweep the Cardinals four games to none. They win game four, six to five. The winning pitcher today, Doug Corbett, he wins. The run was not charged to him. It was charged to Kaufman, of course, because Kaufman allowed Willie McGee to reach in the top of the ninth. The losing pitcher, he has a blown save and the loss, Bruce Suter. He did not have a great postseason like he did in the regular season. That was exciting. That was fun. That was the price of admission. Thank you, King Icky Brew, for sponsoring this game here today. It's a classic. Once again, the final score as the Angels mob each other on the playing field. The final score, California, six runs. 10 hits, 1 error, 9 left on base. The St. Louis Cardinals, 5 runs, 10 hits, no errors, 11 men left on base. The player of the game, who else? Brian Downing. We didn't even have to go to Charlie Brown to get his, grand, his uh, home run for the cycle because Brian Downing said, I can do that myself. He was 2 for 4 with a double, a walk, a home run, a cut stealing at home. Has anybody ever done more in one World Series game? I don't know. Maybe they have a lot of different things. But uh, this is it. Thank you for tuning in to the 1984 World Series. This is King Ikibu signing off. Goodbye, everybody.